Imagine you have an idea that you believe it's gonna change the world and would make you a billionaire. The problem is between the time that you come up with the idea and the time that someone is willing to put the money on the table called investment, there is a period called gap. During the gap, you need to form a team, build a prototype, come up with a business model, and if lucky, find some early adopters. But all these things need time and resources which basically translate to money. The problem is, most of the time, the person who comes up with the idea has no or little money, especially if they are first-time entrepreneurs. Now, the question is, how do you fill the gap with no money? The answer is equity, which is an ownership in an asset. Imagine you buy a house with your friend and you put equal cash. In this case, the ownership is 50-50. Equity can produce cash in the future, for example, if you rent the house, or it can be converted to cash in the case that you sell the house. The problem with early stage startup is, the actual value of the equity is basically nothing. No matter how cool your idea is, the value, the actual value, is close to zero. Now, if your idea is good, you have a right team, work hard, and have a little bit of luck, the actual value might significantly go up and you can cash out with a lot of money in the future. Exactly because of this vision, you can find very special people who are not looking for salary but equity. They understand that they are accepting a significant risk of not getting paid never but because they believe in your idea, they have a vision that they will make a lot of money down the road if they have ownership or equity in the company. These special amazing folks are called grunts. So to pay with equity during the gap time, first you need to find and convince grunts that your idea would worth a lot of money in the near future. Second, you need to find a logical way to calculate their ownership in the company. The traditional way to do this is to consider a fixed split. Imagine the whole company is represented as a pie. You can split the pie and give a fixed percentage to grunts. Now, you can do this at the very beginning when there is no value, but as the startup is changing super fast, this can be very problematic. Of course, you can consider things like vesting to hedge your risk, but still you're trying to decide how much is per each person is gonna contribute at the very beginning. On the other hand, you can cut the pie after you create some values. But this scenario is even worse as everyone might try to get the biggest possible split and there are a lot of judgment calls on who did what. The other modern way to split the pie is called dynamic split in which you get pie as you contribute to the company and it's super useful for the early stage startups who are trying to go through the gap. I will talk about how to create dynamic split and how it works in the next lectures. Thanks a lot for watching, please don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video.